Its stocks are up across the board today. Our next guest says maybe you should take advantage of this opportunity to be a little more cautious in your portfolio, maybe do a little bit of selling today. John Hussman is who we're talking about. He knows a thing or two about investing. His strategic total return fund, it's outperformed 99% of its peers over the past five years. And he wrote in his uh, latest weekly commentary that he's seeing some signs now that are not uh, terribly optimistic, at least in the short term. John, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, joining us by the way from Maryland let's talk first of all about some of the comments that you made in your newsletter what are some of the recent market trends that you have seen that lead you to believe that today is just an upward blip and we're gonna see a resumption perhaps of declines sure well we write a weekly comment uh, on the uh, website and over the last several months I've I've made fairly uh, strong statements that that the market has been characterized by an overvalued overbought over bullish syndrome that we typically see followed through by slight marginal new highs and then a fairly abrupt downward break uh, and that's exactly what we've seen in recent weeks the problem now is that in addition to that downward break uh, we've seen a, a number of other features uh, that that have also been been very dangerous. One is uh, we've seen a bread, uh, a very heavy downside breadth last week, ten that to means, one declines versus advances. advances. Right. Exactly. Uh, and we also saw uh, what we call a leadership reversal, where, where new lows on the New York Stock Exchange expanded to the point where they've been above new highs, where new highs have been have been ahead uh, for for months, so, uh, so for in about other the words, past nine or ten months. So in other words, sort of below the surface here, yes, we have had uh, declines in stocks, but at the same time, mm -hmm. these other indicators are saying <clears throat> that there's even more pessimism out there than just the, the declines on the face of it would seem to indicate. Yeah, we've seen uh, what what you would call uh, a, a, a very strong deterioration in what people call market internals, and we've looked back uh, historically, and we identify about 19 instances of this, yeah. uh, and the, the, these are uh, noted on the website. But basically, only f about four of them ended up with fairly benign outcomes. The rest were associated with an average decline over the next 12 weeks of about seven percent in the S and P, mm -hmm. which expanded to a loss of about 20% okay. within 12 months. All right, John, we're going to continue this discussion in a, just a few moments. So we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be right back with John Hussman. Welcome back to Bloomberg News. I'm Mark Crumpton. Stocks are up across the board on this Thursday. You see the indices all higher. NASDAQ leading the charge up over 3 percent, 2265. Dow Jones Industrials and the S&P 500 are both up over 2 percent. The S&P is at 1097. Dow Industrials are up 236 points right now at 10,211. But John Hussman of Hussman Econometrics Advisors says that the signs are pointing to a pullback and he joins us once again John thank you so much for staying through the commercial break we appreciate it sure mark John we see those numbers as I just mentioned stocks surging the euro snapping that three-day decline but but China what's the impact here on China specifically the Chinese saying they'll remain a long-term investor in Europe even given uh, the rattling that we've been seeing in the eurozone well, I don't think that China right now wants to uh, add to the tension of the moment by saying anything other than uh, palliatives. So mm -hmm. my my impression is that uh, that when we look at the euro. Uh, other governments are, are, are quite aware that there are problems, and the main problem with the euro is, uh, right now, it, with Greece, is it's running huge deficits. It, if, if it tries to cut those deficits by severe austerity, it's going to hurt the economy so much on the revenue side that you're going to uh, end up not getting a lot of uh, benefit from those cuts anyway. And so really the question is, how long does Germany want to uh, finance the deficits of Greece? Uh, which can't pr print its own currency, which uh, ultimately is going to, I think, uh, be exited from yeah. uh, the euro. And the question really is,
is how do we do that gracefully and how do we try and restructure loans as to minimize the damage rather than trying to kick the can down the road. And John, um, you know, I talked to, to Bill Gross of PIMCO yesterday. He also said that, you know, Greece is going to need to face a restructuring one or two years down the road. And also, I think you, like he, uh, has some concerns about deficits here at home as well and what implications that has for an investor and for the markets. Yeah, the deficits that we've had, uh, particularly over the last year, have certainly had an effect in making the uh, economic news look rather good. The problem is that what we've really done is spend a great deal of money uh, in uh, short-term stimulus, where really what we need to do is focus on restructuring debt. Uh, we've got a lot of debt that was created over the last decade that uh, the cash flows that are that are going to be paid are not able to sustain. And so the real question is, do we keep on taking good savings and throwing them in so that uh, individuals and companies and, and lenders who made bad loans can get 100 cents on the dollar? Or do we talk about restructuring rather than failure? Failure tends to have this uh, connotation, oh, we have to do something to prevent the failure. Uh, and really, uh, a lot of the, the damage that comes from failure isn't from a bondholder not getting all their money back, yeah. but mm -hmm. from when, when you have to break a company up yeah. piecemeal. We should be talking more about restructuring debt. Yeah. Okay, John, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. John Hussman of Hussman Econom... Econometrics. Econometrics. Thank you, John. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. Now we need to bring.